Hey guys, this is Nod Lammers of Evoked 101. Welcome back, and today I'm taking a look at my first place locals sub terror control deck. This uh, got me first place on my locals, like I said. We played four rounds. There was 15 people, right? Yeah, there was like 15 people there. And so we played four rounds. We almost went into five. My matchups were round one was a mirror match against uh, Tyler. He played sub terror as well. Round two uh, was. Oh man, what was it? I think that was Ian, uh, but I forget. I know I definitely played Ian at one point, and then I played, uh, yeah, and then I played Nathan who was playing Grand Maju. Uh, if you guys don't remember Bad Nathan from the vlog, that's who I played against. Uh, and then uh, final round was against the only other undefeated, which was Salamangrate, uh, played by Adrian, and I ended up taking that from him in game three. So very cool. Uh, this deck, is super fun. I actually have a lot of fun playing Guru Control. It's one of my favorite control decks, if not my favorite control deck. I really like uh, just like sub terrors in general, and Guru Control is super fun. Anyways, with that said, before we get into the video, down in the description there's a link to our Patreon, a Teespring, our Kofi, and our Discord. So if you like checking out any of those links, those are all down in the description. Uh, any of that would support the channel. So anyways, with that said, we're gonna move the traps, the spells out of the way. There is an extra deck for this, but it's not in the shot because it's not super important. And we'll get to talk about the super low monster count. Also, we are using the regional 2018 mat because this mat is gorgeous and beautiful. And it also looks uh, really good on the viewfinder. Three guru, uh, mandatory three of, and guru control. Get your play started, searches your uh, sub terror cards. Very good, very nice. Uh, three of the hand trap. Uh, Subterra Fiendish, she can also uh, help unclog your hands with the big lad and is also uh, just really good overall. Uh, one Archer, because Archer is a necessary one of. Uh, one Umastrix, another necessary one of. And I used to play, uh, I think it's Ultra Mafus, the big turtle. I used to play him and I kind of wish I still did, but um, yeah, those two at least, these guys at least. And then uh, I also played two Ash. Uh, I feel like I should have been playing a third, but I guess I just don't have a third common ash for some reason. Uh, anyways, that's honestly probably what the, what the missing card was, because uh, when I pulled this out, it had 39 uh, cards in it. It was really strange. Uh, that's it for the monsters. <laughs> uh, moving into the spells and traps. Uh, three Hidden City, this is like the bread and butter of your deck. It searches Guru on activation. It uh, also lets you flip a sub-terror. Uh, once per turn it's just an overall great card that lets you but it doesn't like you don't live and die by hidden city um but it is definitely a necessary piece and a terraforming is what we play to get that uh three duality i am a broke boy so i have no extravagance please support the channel um if you want to see better deck profiles um but yeah three pot of duality because uh we don't have extravagance even if we did we still play duality because duality is fantastic in this deck and we don't special summon at all so yep um again i'm a broke lad so we're playing cave clash uh this isn't necessarily replacing anything i actually like two cave clash i've kind of uh, gone by this on multiple occasions that cave clash is really good and it recovers fiendus uh, whenever a sub terror does damage you can pick up a sub terror i believe it's a sub terror card out of your graveyard uh yeah any sub terror card you can target it and add it to your hand when a sub terror does damage and it also buffs all your sub terrors by 500 um per uh set monster on the field and this stacks this is pretty nice uh so yeah uh very cool very cool uh two super poly uh, I feel Super Poly in this deck is really good. Definitely like the two of them. Uh, two Book of Moons. These are my uh, Lost Art Book of Moons, I like to call them, because uh, if you look on the book, it has an onk right there instead of a little bird that a lot of the modern Book of Moons have. So, uh, but yeah, books at three. Um, I didn't. I needed to fill up the deck with some other stuff because some stuff was missing. So I was like, ah, oh, two Book of Moon that can trigger uh, Ultra Mafus if I need it. It can do other things. But yeah, so two book um, and one Monster Reborn. Uh, this can also serve as like a fiendus, not a fiendus, a uh, sub terror guru, because guru is a book of moon if it's a quick effect, but um, book of moon is also a book of moon. I am monster reborn, uh, just in case, uh, in case you don't duality, but you need to get that guru or something out of the graveyard. Uh, so moving that aside, into the traps, uh, of course, three final battle, uh, very 
very necessary trap card. A lot of people say, do you play two? Do you play three? What's the number we play here? I like three. I think three is correct. I've always thought three is correct. You want to see it, but uh, two is playable if you want to play two. And these are the, the supers because I'm a nice boy. Uh, then we have three judgment. Uh, judgment is good. Judgment is great. You need to play three in subterra. Uh, speaking of things that you need to play in subterra, two strikes. Uh, no more, no less. Two strike is perfect. Three judgment is perfect. Uh, I'm playing two heavy storm duster. I don't know quite mu how much I like this, um, but yeah, I'm playing this right now. Honestly, these are probably going to get cut for another card I'm going to talk about uh, called Spiritualism because I did play a side deck. I'm not necessarily going to show it off, but I will talk about it uh, right now, I guess, instead of showing it off. I played Spiritualism in the side deck for this. I played one copy, and I'm thinking about swapping these in the main for the two Spiritualisms because that card was clutch. Um, three, there can only be ones. Uh, this isn't a necessary card. I definitely think like if you have extravagance, you can you can play two and get away with it. Uh, I'm playing three because, like I said, I don't have extravagance and I don't always. And sometimes you just need to see it. Um, this won me games against Salamangrate. This won. Uh, I actually sided this out against Grenmaju. Um, against oh god, what did Ian play? <laughs> I don't even. Was he playing Galaxy? No, he wasn't playing something else. Uh, I don't know what he was playing, but either way, I sided these out against uh, in a couple matches. But Salamangrate, this was really good. Subterra, I sided this out. But yeah, uh, one card I definitely agree with three is Crackdown. Crackdown at three in this deck, I I think I will always play. Uh, this is too good. Uh, steals your opponent's stuff, uh, negates his effects, and then you can flip it with Guru, flip it back up, and Crackdown's basically negated. Uh, so now you have a free monster. Very cool. I use this to steal Guru. Was fun. Uh, with that said, that's it for the main. Let's move into the extra, uh, which the extra is just stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oops. Uh, so we have Boral Load. Uh, we have Underclock Taker, just for some generic links. Deco Talker, this should be something else. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix, Cerberus, uh, those are correct. Uh, Behemoth, this is wrong. This should be something else. Um, Fortress Dragon, I feel this is correct. Uh, I, I like that. That is, I feel correct. Uh, uh, Arm, Amardark or a Maldruk, whatever, the Guard Dragon Fusion. This guy is pretty dope against Spiral. This is ma That's mainly what this is for, apparently. I accidentally left this in the in the extra deck and someone told me that it was correct because one of the guys was playing full power Spiral tonight. So uh, there we go. And then uh, Elysium for the Invoked matchup, so, uh, Starving Venom for the Dark matchup, and Diplexer Chimera, even though this should be a Violet Chimera or a AI Golem. Uh, but realistically this this should be it could be whatever like because there's so much stuff in my extra I could cut I could cut underclock I can cut decode I can cut behemoth so that would be golem and uh, uh, Chimera uh, But yeah, this this actually did come up against subterra uh, not subterra salamangre uh, I summoned it uh, twice in two games. So that was pretty nice But with that said that is the end of my subterra deck profile um, Subterra is a really fun. It's a deck I, I'm really glad I picked up when I did. I got it before Guru came out um, in a trade with a guy who I sadly uh, no longer talked to because uh, he was really cool, but he ended up getting banned. Uh, so that really sucks. But uh, got it from a really cool guy, and it is a really cool deck, and I uh, just love Subterra so much. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this, like I said, this was. Uh, if you want to know what else was in my side deck, it was mostly just back row hate, like evenly matched and um, some artifacts, stuff like that, like the artifact package. That was mostly what my side deck was. I think there was a third super poly in there, and like I said, spiritualism. There's a cosmic cyclone. But yeah, uh, with that said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.